There is a tendency, I think, for us all to begin to look at culture and to look at heritage in a way that is defined by one specific interest group. You know, and it tends to be white, it tends to be male, and it tends to be upper class. Carnival is a street event uh, to be contained within the park, to be contained within an O2 stadium, to be contained anywhere else in a small geographic area will kill the elements of Carnival. Boxing Hill has become a lot more gentrified and there are very few ethnic minorities around here now simply because we cannot afford to live in Notting Hill. Uh, there is the tension also between those who, who want to keep it on the streets and those who say no, it should be sanitised, put into the park, corralled, made nice and neat, something for people to look at, you know, but not be part of, basically. <laughs> During the seven years I was chair of Carnival, I spent all those years fighting that very thing. And so it was not going to be a carnival in the park, you know, and off the streets of Notting Hill. You know, we had to take in those days Ken Livingston to task. We call it affectionately the Grove. Not Ladbo Grove. Ladbo Grove is a road. The Grove is a mood and a historical moment, carved in people's minds. And I think that was why with the Reese riots, it did not happen in Finsbury Park or Brixton. Somewhere there's this spiritual aura that produced all these things of revolt, of, of relaxing when you take, a, when you take the power, uh, of, of not compromising. That is of the Reese riots. That is the ethos that set up the carnival forever. I first came to Notting Hill in 1957. Whenever you walked out, you were greeted with taunts at the best and words of aggression and uh, blasphemy at the worst, really. So there was an ugliness. There was rampant racism on the streets of uh, Notting Hill. And I can remember, you know, looking for bed sitters in this area and picking up the, the evening news as it was in those days and, and saying no coloreds need apply. And this was in every single advertisement. Where I'm sitting now in Notting Hill, there were Notting Hill race riots. So you didn't go many places. You'd want, you didn't want to be seen alone. Um, the police had a thing about black men. Now that's one side. There was another side of Notting Hill. And the other side was, of course, the social side that we clubbed together. You know, so there was a sense of, uh, of comradeship. There was a sense of struggle. There was a sense of, well, we're putting up with this. We're going to get fight through this. And that was the, the other spirit that was in the area. Carnival too was a way in which it gave, it gave us sanity. We belonged to bands. There was a natural feeling of uh, belonging that came and a natural feeling of identity and a natural positive feeling of projecting an image of ourselves as we see ourselves. The creativity emerges where you find your own thing to do. We couldn't go in pubs, so we formed shebeens with music from Jamaica, which came from every boat, with the calypso from Trinidad, and with the clothing from the south of the United States. You, you need the most vicious totalitarianism to destroy the spirit. So with the racism, this was a kind of way of dodging it not confronting it yet, dodging it, and dance, dodging it with a dance. I mean, the seeds of the protest movement in, in, in the UK, that all sprang out of this. 
of being part of Notting Hill. Many of the Caribbean peoples who came from the Caribbean, right, settled here in Notting Hill. And uh, so there is that connection. So you go to a Caribbean family now, or a black family, more, 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 more perhaps accurately, and you talk and you will hear, oh no, my granddad was in Notting Hill. Notting Hill is still important. I came to Notting Hill actually in the 60s. And I remember when the motorway was being built, that M40 motorway through Notting Hill. And I remember um, my church, not local Notting Hill Methodist Church, being very much involved in protesting about the motorway. And we all went and laid down at the entrance to the motorway on the day of its opening. Um, as a mark of protest because we saw the motorway as totally decimating the community because where the motorway was built was like the heart of the ghetto of Notting Hill. It was those slums and people had lived in those slums because as black people we could not get anywhere else to rent and then when they decided to, to, to build the motorway suddenly everybody's home was either compulsorily purchased or they were simply shifted out of the area. And so the coming of the motorway broke up the community. What we've got to be saying to the heritage bodies is not that we are marginal, but we are part of that heritage. So you see carnival on carnival's terms, as you would see a stately home on the terms of the aristocrats that owned those stately homes, as places, as industries, as local communities or local businesses or whatever, the way they see it and how they lived, etc., etc. Well, carnival lives in the same way. So you've got to see carnival in this way. You don't need to sanitise carnival to make it therefore cultural and therefore part of the heritage. A London Notting Hill itself as an area was not always looking the way it looks now. The fact is that in terms of assisting the development or the gentrification of the Notting Hill area has been the London Notting Hill Carnival. Fundamentally, a number of the bohemian set were attracted to the area because of its uniqueness, because it had this massive festival on a doorstep. I like uh, the sort of the, a vibrant culture that is uniquely Notting Hill. I like the role that Carnival plays in Notting Hill um, two days a year. You know, the residents have to be tolerant of each other and Carnival brings life to the streets of Notting Hill. And it's a statement that we are here, we haven't completely gone yet. And that gives Notting Hill its very unique feel. Even with the gentrification of Notting Hill, there are new communities that exist here. It's important for them to realise the new white communities that exist here, the multiculturalism of London, the multiculturalism of Britain, and Notting Hill has its place in the history of the making of that multiculturalism.